Penetration testing has become an integral part of a comprehensive security program. A simulated attack on systems or an entire IT infrastructure, pen tests expose the weakness in your core attack vectors, operating systems, network devices, and application software. The idea is to find and secure vulnerabilities before attackers exploit them. Pen testing has never been more important than it is today. With DDoS attacks, phishing, ransomware, and countless other tactics used by increasingly sophisticated cybercriminals, the best defense starts with knowing your strengths and weaknesses. As Sun Tzu wrote in The Art of War, if ignorant of your enemy and yourself, you are certain to be in peril. Pen testing provides intelligence and insight into how to mature your security organization by understanding how you could be and likely will be attacked and what steps you need to take to secure your organization. However, penetration tests are not created equal. If you were to Google pen tests, you would likely find an assortment of companies offering to conduct inexpensive, fast tests geared to help meter your PCI requirement or some other compliance standard. Pen tests need to be about more than checking a box. They need to be the critical starting point to improved cyber defense. Further, one important thing to remember, vulnerability assessments are not pen tests. Vulnerability assessments provide a prioritized list of vulnerabilities and how to remediate them. Quality pen tests have a goal in mind, whether that is to hack into a specific system, breach a database, or simply probe as an attacker would to find hackable systems. Pen tests are conducted by ethical hackers to mimic the strategies and actions of an attacker. The five steps in pen testing should be, one, find a vulnerability. Two, design an attack. Three, appoint team of ethical hackers. Four, determine what kind of data they could steal. Five, act on the findings. Quality penetration tests should give you deep insight into the organization's overall security posture, and more importantly, how to prioritize vulnerabilities found in the test and eliminate them in order to improve the organization's security maturity.